This year's General Assembly is taking place after a marathon month of summits and meetings, and some high-profile leaders are skipping the annual gathering. But there will still be plenty to talk about. We will be gathering at a time when humanity faces huge challenges, from the worsening climate emergency to escalating conflicts, the global cost of living crisis, soaring inequalities and dramatic technological disruptions. And people are looking to their leaders for a way out of this mess. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is expected to attend in person for the first time since Russia invaded his country in February 2022. It is an opportunity for him to appeal for international support, but he must also walk a diplomatic fine line. Zelensky does have to be conscious that there are a lot of leaders from developing countries who have problems of their own, such as debt and poor economic growth. And they want to talk about those topics and not just the war between Russia and Ukraine. That includes sustainable development, which is off track for meeting 2030 targets to end hunger and extreme poverty. The UN says if present trends continue, a staggering 575 million people will remain trapped in extreme poverty by the end of this decade. A two-day summit that the UN hopes revitalizes the goals will begin the high-level week. Progress has been set back significantly in recent years. This is in part due to the lingering drag of the COVID-19 pandemic, the highest level of armed conflict globally since 1945, and climate-related disasters, as well as inflation and the rising cost of living. There will also be a climate action summit on Wednesday that requires ambitious commitments to cut greenhouse gas emissions and phase out fossil fuels for leaders to get a place at the podium. And the UN Security Council will also meet that day at the highest level to discuss the war in Ukraine. President Zelensky is expected to attend. The Secretary General says there is space to discuss both the war in Ukraine and other pressing issues during the week. He said rescuing the SDGs is urgent. I believe that there is room for um, all issues to be seriously discussed. And uh, um, I am not afraid that uh, the different crises we are uh, witnessing in different parts of the world, that they will um, take out of the agenda the importance of the FCGs. President Joe Biden will address the General Assembly on Tuesday morning, laying out U.S. priorities. He will address the General Assembly, where, where he will reaffirm our country's leadership in countering threats to international peace and security, protecting human rights and advancing global prosperity and development. With much on the line, the world's citizens will be looking to leaders to take action to improve their daily lives and safeguard their future. Margaret Bashir, VOA News, the United Nations.